All right, so what do these settings do? Um, I didn't see a good video out there um, that kind of showed kind of the different resistor settings. Um, you can see here there's a 200, a 2000, a 20K, 200K, and 2000K settings on this multimeter. And so basically all these are is ranges. So from 200 ohms or less, you want to go with this setting. 2000 ohms to 200 ohms, you want to go with this setting. 20K, so 20,000 to 2,000, you want to go with the, um, that range right there. Um, anything above that, up to 200K, go with that range right there. And up to 200,000 ohms, go um, in between these two. So, one of the things that's confusing is, you got to remember, these are just ranges of uh, kind of the different values, or the different settings you want to go with. So it doesn't mean, 200 doesn't mean you have to multiply by 200 or something like that. If there's a K in the setting you have to use, it means you have to multiply by 1,000. If there's no K, then whatever you're reading is the amount of ohms of uh, resistance that you have. So I got a um, circuit board right here to kind of illustrate how I go about kind of testing um, different resistances. So let's see here. I try to use this old circuit board to demonstrate the different settings you would use on your multimeter for um, measuring resistance, but there wasn't a big enough range, so I ordered some potentiometers to kind of give you a better feel for the different settings. All right, so just demonstrate here, um, I got my multimeter set to the 200 ohm setting, and I'm using um, some potentiometers, which are just um, resistors that are variable. So you turn this uh, adjustment on the top and I'll show you. We'll put the alligator clamps on the terminals here. These just kind of make it so I don't have to hold the, the toggles on there. Okay, so now you can see when I turn the dial, so basically I'm taking my screwdriver in here and changing it, I get a change in the reading. So now, since we're in this this first setting, it goes up to 200 ohms. Once I go past 200 ohms, actually this one doesn't go past 200. It just goes up to around 100. But if I try to go past it to 2000 setting, um, all that happens is I lose one decimal precision. So before, it kind of takes a second to equalize back out. You can see that the reading is um, somewhere around 110. Then if I go up, it's jumping around a bit. I think it's because it's adjusting to temperature. But I lose that decimal point. So if I go up again, I lose another decimal point. So you always want to go with the lowest setting that you can manage because you get the most decimals of precision. Let's use another example. Now like I said, you always want to go with the lowest precision you can. So I usually start out at the 200. Now one thing you can do to make sure um, your, your leads are good is you kind of connect these two to each other and you get a very low reading. See, I have about five there. Um, I take the, uh, I think that, you know, the jumpers probably have a little bit of resistance in them as well. So yeah, that brings it down to about three. That's pretty typical um, with just the, the pointers there. Okay, I'm not getting a reading there. And if I didn't just check the jumpers, I might think, okay, maybe my cables are bad. But then I would double check them again Okay, nope, they're working. So what's going on? Maybe my um, resistance is too high. Yep, it's too high because it's outside of the range um, because that first setting only goes up 200 ohms. So I went up one, and now I can see that I have right around 400 ohms here. Again, I could go up one. That brings me to the 20k setting, but the problem there is that 
um, I lose that digit of precision. So let's go back, try another one. Go back to the 200. Okay, no reading at 200. No reading at 2,000. I do have a reading of 20,000, 20 K. So I have to multiply it by 1,000. So that means I have 3,040 is my reading right there, right around that area. And I can, I can see what it would read at the 200 K. And again, I lose one decimal. You can see if you multiplied this out, if you go back to the 20K setting, you get 3,040. So this four, the, the, this digit right here goes away. You can see basically everything's gonna shift to the right. See there it just is 3.0 now instead of 3.004. Let's get an example of this all the way up to the tip. All right, so this one doesn't even register on the 200,000. So I have to go to the 200,000, which is 2 million. So since this is 217,000, it's just outside of the 200K range. We had to go all the way to the up to 2 million ohms. So basically, if you're not getting a reading when you put your leads across a resistor, make sure that when you touch the two leads together, you get a small amount of resistance that are just in the leads and then you want to be using the lowest setting that you possibly can. That way you'll get the most precision out of your reading. And finally, if the setting that you're on has a K in it, you need to multiply whatever your reading is by a thousand. That's about it. If you enjoyed watching the video and learned something, please consider liking and subscribing. See you next time.